Welcome to another edition of my What I Wore series, where I show you some of the outfits that I picked out incorporating vintage, resale, and unique pieces. I hope you like them and that they might inspire you. Today we are going to a dear friend's house for lunch and I want it to be comfortable but still look a little bit stylish and fun. I have on this kit and ace dress that just couldn't be more comfortable, this cotton sort of swing with it. I have on my briar clogs, love, love, love these from San Francisco, handmade. And then look at this cool vest. I got this from Relove in San Francisco as well off of the website. I think it might be from Thailand, but look at this and check out the back. Oh, love it. And I think, again, it just sort of nips this dress in the waist, makes me look like I have a figure, and it's comfortable, and I think going to be really fun for our lunch. I am wearing this gorgeous vintage kimono that I got in Illinois at a really adorable resale place called Dandelion Vintage in Champaign, Illinois. Great place, and I absolutely love this. It has a good story. I did a whole video on that place, so I really have a great time whenever I wear this and have good memories associated with it. Look at these vivid, amazing colors and the nice long sleeves. And I have it paired here with this little cashmere shell. This is a Burberry little kind of like a vest shell that I got super cheap at my sister's closet on like a big sale. And it's just the perfect weight and I love it. These are my vintage 501 Levi's that I bleached, cut, and frayed myself and just wear all the time for some reason. And then finally, these are my briar clogs, like my briar clog suede sandals in this nude color that just goes with everything and I think makes every outfit super fun. I have this little handbag that I'm taking, which was given to me by my daughter. She bought it on a trip to India. And I think it sort of goes with all of the colors and adds a little bit of a pop of fun. Check out this gorgeous dress that I also got from Relove in San Francisco. Delilah and her crew just pick the best stuff and get it in there. I think it probably was from Thailand. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a tag or anything. And my guess is that maybe it was handmade. Uh, but I just love, look at all of the detailing in here. It's just so pretty, and I think it fits well. I have it also with my briar clogs that are from San Francisco. This little pashmina that my daughter got me in India. And then this is a handmade little clutch from a local person here in San Diego named Erin Bynum. So looking forward to going out in this. Today we are going to the La Jolla Playhouse and I have on, I think, a really fun outfit, a little bohemian inspired, which I love. It has this vest that I bought in Tijuana, Mexico at a place called Hand Art. Check out this great fringe and I love the way that it drapes and it actually makes it quite warm and gives a little bit of coverage, but it's so cute. This is just a little Burberry tank that I picked up at my sister's closet. It was resale. These are my grandmother's amber beads that I just cherish. This is a belt from Love Strength, a local San Diego company that I really enjoy wearing. These are pants by a local designer, Jennifer Grace. Also love, love, love her. My briar clogs, I think, add a little bit of fun in boho, and they are just trusty and go everywhere. Then finally, also this little purse that I got in Tijuana on my recent trip. Gorgeous leather purse that I picked up there for $10. So having a little bit of fun today in this. I have on one of my favorite things today. This is a vintage Alfred Shaheen dress. I mean, look at the lovely draping of it and the way that it has these sleeves this way with the geometric design and I like how in the back it has that and my tattoo I think shows up nicely on it but it fits so beautifully it feels really pretty I think that this is hand painted this fabric is hand painted and it also has his signature which is super unique I picked this up at a thrift shop for like nothing and it's worth a, a lot of money but I love the color I love the look of it and to keep the whole Hawaiian theme going, I have on my Hawaiian sandals here. These are from 
Maui Island. This is a guy who makes these from scratch. You send in your foot design and he makes these. I've had them for so long, they just keep on going and going. And then it might get cold a little later, so I'm going to pop on my Jennifer Grace long kimono here which has some of the same colors. And I think that'll be a fun thing to put in there. I just kind of knotted the bottom of it just to make it a little bit more flowy and fun. But this is uh, what I've got on for tonight. That is it for this week, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what your favorite look is and what you liked, and if anything inspired you, I'd love to hear that too. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.